School football season kicks off tonight. As it does, East High School will be without one of its best players. Section 5 is not allowing star 7 McGee on the field tonight. Kayla Green is live at East High School. Kayla, this has turned into something, huh? Yes, Adam, it definitely is. As you mentioned, first football game tonight here at East High. You can see right here behind me, there's still a line of people waiting to get in, but Seven McGee will not be playing, which he just found out yesterday. Now, McGee attended a school in Los Angeles last year for a few months, and the East High superintendent tells us that school hasn't provided the proper proof of enrollment paperwork needed for Section 5 to clear him to play here this season. East High applied for a waiver to the transfer rule with Section 5 earlier this week. The executive director of Section 5 says McGee didn't meet the criteria. The superintendent, Dr. Sean Nelm, says this is about more than just football. He has colleges all over, the, all over the country looking at him, and so this is not about football. If he doesn't play this year, he'll still most likely have a scholarship the following year. This is really about um, ripping the heart and soul out of a young man who's done everything right. Shortly after McGee started at that L.A. school, some employees at the school came under investigation for allegations of misconduct. The L.A. Times reports the principal, vice principal, and athletic director were fired last month. McGee decided to come home after those allegations surfaced. Corey Ellis played basketball with McGee in middle school. He says McGee is upset, but isn't letting it get him down. Yeah, good energy line, so well, basically just put on for the team. East High's next step is appealing the decision. Dr. Nelm says this is just some red tape they have to go through. And we're hopeful that um, by the next uh, game, uh, next week, that he'll be back on the field and, um, and back um, with his, his teammates. Dr. Nelm says they'll also keep calling that L.A. school, see if they can get any kind of response, but they haven't returned any of their calls yet. We also reached out to that school, and they said that student matters are confidential, and they had no further information. In Rochester, Kayla Green, News 8. Thanks, Kayla. We reached out to the University of Oregon, where he's committed to go, at least verbally, and the school there says NCAA rules forbid the school from commenting on recruits.